This video is sponsored by Trailer Training UK, operating across the south delivering HGV class 1 and 2 courses as well as weekly CPC courses. They also do car and trailer courses and many more. I have heard nothing but good things about these guys, check out their online presence, they got a 91.7% first time pass rate and if you quote Luke so you get a 5% discount on top of the 5% price fee they already have. Therefore, you're 100% guaranteed the best price. Find out more by clicking the link in the description below. Hello, is that Luke speaking? It is Luke, yes. Luke, it's John Carter, yeah? From the payment protection team, okay? Oh, right, hello. Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel, my name is Luke, thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to start things by saying that by the time this video has come out, the competition for the Tom Toms have finished. Uh, the winners, well the competition ends on the 22nd of, um, of this month, September. So by the time this video comes out, don't, don't write truckers by truckers on the video because it won't count. Um, as for the winners, um, Tom Tom directly uh, will either let you know or let me know. I don't get to pick. So we're just waiting on Tom Tom now to uh, to pick the winners. But as soon as I know anything or you've heard anything, then uh, then yeah, great. If they do contact you, Tom Tom, this is. If they do contact you and they do send you the product, please get in touch. Um, go and uh, like me on Facebook, facebookcom forward slash and HDV. Send me a picture, let me know, and I'll uh, put it on my on my page. Show everybody you know, who won and stuff. So that'd be good. Uh, so yeah, as for today. We are literally just around the corner from where we are about to deliver. Like, literally around the corner. We're going to Travis Perkins, we're in Crawthorn, which is like around the corner from Brack, Bracknell, Bas I don't know, not far from Reading. Crawthorn is where we are. We got 22 bags. So I'm hoping I'll get tipped quite quickly. Last time I was here though, uh, was last Friday. It was the only load I had for the day. So I was hoping to get home quite early, just hit a tree for the low branch. Um, but I was waiting two hours outside before I was even let in. So um, I hope it's not the case. It's also quite a tight yard, so if I do have to wait, I'm going to put a GoPro on the back so you can see me get in. So um, And also get unloaded as well. That's only if I have time to put it up. Should, should have time, but we will see. Anyway, we've got to make a right-hand turn just around here. It's very tight. I have to take up the whole of the road and the, and the other side of the road as well. Bear in mind, I am in an Arctic. I also mount the curb just to get an even better way in. Very, very tight. There we go. I have no option but to go on the curbs to make it. That's how tight of a corner it is. Right, and we're just here on the left. Not allowed to just drive in, so I'm just going to pull up see if I can go in, if I can go in, then I need to back up again, get a wider, wide turn in. It's a very tight yard, very tight place. But at least we're here, hazards are on. Let's go and make an acquaintance and then um, hopefully I get some footage on the back as well. Right, so we're going in. Where's that car? It's got a reverse back so I can get a right angle to get in. And then typical that cars come right as I want to get down. Here we go.
voicemail from Craig Ashford. So now we need to go over here, just swing it round. Oh, I've got vans in the way, so we can't actually go anywhere yet. Make that corner. Uh, yeah, we've got to go straight down there and turn right around there as well. It's, like I said, it's a very tight yard. But um, hopefully, we'll get there in a sec. Right, it's looking like we are going to be able to move around now. Right, come on then, mate, move out of the way. Very, very tight. Don't you stop there. One more van in the way. Very tight on those back wheels. No, just got to wait for this white van to move out of the way. Going, mate. Yes, please, mate. Going out. No. <laughs> I've got to try and line myself up to that gate. <laughs> I would never say such a thing. He said, I bet you thought, who's the <laughs> part there? Been quite close to hitting something there. Excellent. Like I said, it's a very, very, very tight yard, and uh, you've got things all over the place. You could hit literally anything. Didn't hit anything, so that's all good. So uh, let's go get tipped. Right, so we're tipped, we're now on our way out. That vehicle there tried parking in the way.
Um, now obviously it was tight getting in, it's also tight getting out. Okay, I'm clear of that one. Got to get around this lorry now. Oh, there's a siren. Please don't say you're coming down here. No, that's good. They're doing that. They're doing one of their own now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they said, can you wait here a bit longer? Good luck. <laughs> See you there, mate. Um. I went to get a drink from the coffee machine, but they haven't got a coffee machine in there, so they, they said, what are you looking for, do I have a coffee machine? I was like, yeah, fancy a drink. They said, oh, help yourself, there's a kettle upstairs. I was like, oh, I don't drink hot drinks. I said, I, I normally have the cold drink from the machines that you normally have, and they said, oh, all right. They said, there's a fridge at the back, just go and help yourself, mate. So, got a Red Bull for free. Can't argue. Right, I can't see yet on the left. Okay, there's a car coming. He's letting me go. You gonna let me go? I think so. <coughs> right, we're out of here. Windows up. So yeah, they gave me Red Bull for free, so that's very nice of them. He goes, oh, there's a cold drinks machine at the back, just go and help yourself. I was like, what, really? He goes, yeah, I was like, so I said, what? I was in, I ain't got to pay for one. He goes, yeah, no, don't worry about it, I'll put it in the till. I was like, oh, right, I know it. So I went up there and there was like a can of Fanta, three cans of Red Bull, and some water. So, I mean, the healthy option would have been to take some water. <laughs> I, just went, I went up to him, he was like, yeah, I've got a can of Red Bull, mate, cheers, mate. I just walked out. So, that's all good. Hopefully, you've got some good footage on the back of that, those, that tight corner. It's incredibly tight, there's no other way into that site. So the only way I can go in, and you've got to go up the kerbs, unlike all three points. So left kerb going in, left kerb going in again, and also the trailer is going to catch a kerb as well. So yes, a bit tight, never mind. I said that I plan to be back for about half past 11. Current ETA back to Southampton is 10 past 11, so I'm on schedule, which is good. By the time I get to Southampton and get loaded, it'll probably be 12 o'clock. And I'm not really sure where I'm going after that. So let's say it's an hour away, one o'clock, an hour to tip, two o'clock, hour back, three o'clock. There's a good chance I can get preloaded and maybe deliver it tonight, wherever it's going. But we'll get across that bridge when we get there. Mm -hmm. That's empty. For now, we'll enjoy our, our journey back to Southampton. <clears throat> now, one or two of you guys have said that it'd be a good idea when not talking to you that um, you see the dash cam footage sped up to where I'm going. I've done it before in the past. I don't always do it because it takes up a lot of data and takes longer to render and edit and things like that. But that's what I'm going to do today. So, glasses down. Let's get rock and roll in. 58 miles. I'll see you on the other side. Goodbye. Can you hear my heartbeat calling? Can you feel the love we're falling? Just take my Welcome to your EE voicemail. You have one new message. First new message. This is on Craig, my mate. Today at 8.59 a.m. Hey. I'm going back for Reading. I ain't going over the f***ing um, services because I just went to one of the local drivers. He said they got cameras in there and they did checks and everything. And 
Going to uh, Jusins in, I think you pronounce it Godalim, something like that. Um, I've been there once before. You've got to go under a tunnel to get there. So um, that'd be pretty cool. I've had a quick look at what's planned for tomorrow, and I think I'm going to Godrich, wherever that is. I'm not really sure. And then Basingstoke, and then. Back to the yard from there, but that's all subject to change, it normally changes. So um, that's not set in stone, nor am I expecting it to be set in stone. What I do hope happens though is that I get to this Godaling place, Godalim, quickly tip, get back, get loaded for God Rich, wherever it's going, and try and get it tipped, or at least park outside from where it's getting tipped. That's the plan. In other news, um, I'm not sure whether you guys really know this or not, but I do get paid by YouTube, um, by Google to be more specifically, uh, more specific rather. Um, you may have noticed there's adverts at the beginning of my videos. Uh, I don't mean adverts that I make, I mean adverts that just pop up or it says skip ad, those sort of things. I get paid like to put them on there and for... Um, each person that clicks the ad, I get paid something like two or three p. So um, it, it adds up, which is nice, and it just gives me a little bit of extra income. Anyway, last month was a particularly good month. I get paid it this month, and I'm thinking about reinvesting it into the channel. I won't go into details as to how much I've earned, but I'm putting this one thinking about buying two 4K cameras. Um, they're not like mega expensive 4k cameras they're sort of cheap ones but um I, i'm thinking about buying two 4k cameras the only problem with buying a new camera is that this microphone won't work um because it plugs in ultimately well it's an aux cable and it plugs into a female aux to um micro not micro mini usb and that then plugs into the gopro Whereas the new ones don't have a mini USB, it has a micro USB. I'm not sure if micro USB takes um, audio or not, so I'm going to have to buy a, a female AUX adapter to micro USB and see if it works with this mic. If not, then what I'm thinking about doing is using the GoPro you're looking at me on now facing outside, using that as the audio file, and then have a 4K camera facing me and a 4K camera on the back. But, um,. We'll have to see. I don't know exactly how it's going to work. I've had one of these cameras before, and then I returned it. Okay, you are going to go. Fucking indicate, mate. No indication. Um, yeah, I did have a 4K camera before. Um, but I returned it because the battery life wasn't very good. It didn't last very long. I only bought the one, I had it on the outside, but the, the quality of the picture was really nice. It was just difficult to tell when it was actually filming and recording. Um, yeah, so I ended up returning it. But I am considering repurchasing it, but not only it, one, but two of them. We see, we will see. But yeah, I, I got quite a nice amount by YouTube last month, so... I won't go into figures, but it's, for one month it was... Um, Three, 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 three digits, if you like. 
Um, so yeah, five digits if you include pence. <laughs> um, so yeah, anyway, we're on our way to God, Godaling, something like that. And uh, when we get there, well, when we go through the tunnel, I'll uh, recon re reconvene with you. Can't get the words out, guys. Reconvene. See you in a bit. Right, hello again, everybody. We are... 24 minutes away from where we need to be, 14 miles. Going to the God Godalming. I can't say the word God Godalming, something like that. It's uh, near Guildford, <coughs> and um, I've just given them a phone call to say that I'm on my way, and we're just about to go under the tunnel. No horses are allowed in here, apparently. So yeah, we're just about to go under the tunnel. So I thought, why not? film while I go under. Oh, I can't stop yawning. I know there's a camera. 60 miles an hour speed limit. Of course I can only do 56, so. Start braking as we go under. So here we go, going under the tunnel. Hindhead tunnel. I've, um, I had to stop to have half an hour break just now. And while I had that break, I've uh, decided to reinvest in my channel and I've been bought myself two 4K cameras. So hopefully, the next video will be in 4K. That's the plan. Got a bit of a problem with, uh, with regards to microphone. It might not work. The microphone I have might not work. Um, so I'm not sure how I'm going to get around that yet. I might, I might have to use the GoPro you're watching me on now as a dash cam and record my audio into that um, and then sync it up with the other GoPros. That's what I think is going to have to happen at the moment. Yeah, in the tunnel. Let's do what they do on like top gear and stuff. Put your foot down. Yeah, let's not waste any more fuel. <laughs> so yeah, not far away now, 20 more minutes, when we get there, um, I'll reconvene with you guys, and um, yeah, see you in a bit, basically. Ciao for now. Why do they have to put Travis Perkins and Build Base and Syndoms and all those other sort of building places? How comes they got to put them through little villages and towns and things? Not really suitable for HGVs. How come? <laughs> um, yeah, so there's like narrow bridges I've just had to come down. There's bridges, there's fucking all sorts. Sorry for swearing. Um, we're nearly here. Four, maybe five more minutes worth of driving. Not far away. Like I mentioned already, I've given, them a, I've given them a call to say I'm on my way, so they're expecting me. They said just come straight in, so I'm hoping when I get there, um, I can go straight in. I've been there once before, um, and it's quite a, quite a hill going up. Once you actually get into their yard, you've got to go up, up a sort of a hill, and I think there's a slight bank. But um, we'll be alright, we've done it before. I'm just not 100% sure this is the same way I come in last time. That's the only problem I'm having right now. It doesn't look very familiar. I might change in a second there. Once we get there. Three more minutes and we'll be there. I remember going left at a road and then turning immediately right. And there'd been a lot of cars on my way. That's what I remember. Soon see, it's just uh, just at the end of the road, really. Hello. 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 Is that Luke speaking? It is Luke. Yes. Luke, it's John Carter here yeah? from the Payment Protection Team. Okay. 
Oh, right, hello. Custom documents to send out to you, and it is for your refund, £2,500. That could be coming back to you now from your finances you have obtained with your bank, okay? How much? So, Luke, £2,500. Oh, wow. That could be coming back to you. Wow. Okay? Yeah, yeah. So, Luke, Luke, are you still living at door number 47? That's in West Wales. No. So, it's good. You're not living there anymore? No, don't live there, oh, no. Okay. That's the basic reason why the documents never receive you, uh, reach you and we have to call you up. Okay, that's not a problem. I will send it out to your correct address, okay? Um, yeah, do you know what, mate? No, I think I'll pass on that. Why? Why? Why do you think you pass on that? i got to go, mate. We never call. I've got to go, mate. I'm driving, I'm afraid. I'm just going to be a minute of your time. Luke, we never call you up in regards yeah, to any yeah. bank account mate, numbers. Mate, i got to go because I'm driving it. and I'm about to deliver my load. I'm a lorry driver, so I've got to go, mate. Uh, Okay. <laughs> oh my god. £2,500. Wow. We all know it's a load of uh, B word, don't we? Yeah, you know what? I think I come in a different way last time. I think I come in from the left. Maybe I beat some traffic, I don't know. Either way, we're here now. Yeah, because there's a, there's a bridge down there and I haven't gone under a bridge yet. Oh no, there's a bridge coming up. I spoke too soon. Oh no, I'm not going over that bridge though, under that bridge. Because I'm turning here in a sec. Yeah, I'm not going to get under that bridge. I'm too small. Uh, too big. Right. So, we're turning right here. There they are, look. Jason's right there. Yeah, last time I'd come from over there. So I've definitely come in a different way. That's why I don't look very familiar. Go. Now, is that woman and boy going to cross the road? Yes, I think they are. But well, they're not looking, so they can wait. On that curb. Now we're over. I had to do that swaying bit so that my trailer didn't go over the curb. And it didn't go over in the end, so that was good of me to do so. Right, yeah, so we've got to go straight up and then sort of reverse back into the right hand side. But this here look, is proper banked. I fucking, I hate it. I hate being tipped on the side. Especially when you're loaded. Back we go. I would say that that was almost spot on in the yellow box. Almost. Just need to budge over a little bit to the left. And then we will be in the box. Got obviously got to be in the box because um, they're going to load me from both sides, or tip me rather, from both sides. There we go, get the trailer in. Lovely jubbly. Right, so we are here. Um, let's just do what I normally like doing, and that's putting in um, back to Southampton, so I know roughly when I'm going to get back. Add an hour on top of that as well. Assuming, of course, I get tipped in an hour. 
Here's the paperwork. 34 bags of ballast. Yeah, I'm not. Don't tell me I'm over speed. Um, so if I leave now, I will be back in Southampton for three o'clock. So add an hour on that, talking four o'clock. Mm -hmm. Right, let's go get tipped. Right, so we just finished. Got here at 13.35. Time now is 15.15. So a substantial time I've been on site. Never mind, let's go. See you later. <clears throat> Another one of our lorries is just here on the left, waiting to come in. I'm free. I'll try and get back now before five. <laughs> See you later. Right. We shall go out of this side. Last time I went out the inside because there was a van parked in the way. But I can manage to go out this side this time. Just don't hit that car. I'm free. I'm free now. Clear down there. So a lot of these places are in really tight places that they shouldn't shouldn't be really, but it is what it is. I need to use up the other side of the road to get out of here, so I need both sides to be clear. Clear right. It is clear left as well. Let's go, go, go. And we're going straight over which is the way we came in yeah there's a, a low bridge on the right hand side so i think that's why the sat navs are telling me to avoid it i think the vig is 14 2 well, i've got my sat i am 14 2 but i told sat nav i'm 14 3 just to be extra safe so um yeah so it's avoided it right yeah Unfortunately, I was there for quite a long time and now I'm not entirely sure if I can um, get back to be preloaded or not. I'm just going to try and make a call and find out. Right, so what I'm going to do is call a company up who I load out of and um, for inquiries relating to bagged aggregates, see if I can go back and get loaded one. or not. For inquiries relating to loose aggregates, please press 2. And for inquiries relating to equestrian products, please press 3. Thank you. I will press nothing and then I'll get diverted anyway. Your call is now being transferred and will be answered shortly. Your call is now being transferred and will be answered shortly. Today, how can I help? Hi mate, it's Luke with JK Transport. Hello. Hello mate, yeah, I just wanted to know what time is the latest I can come back and get preloaded? Uh, two seconds. What's the latest uh, JK can come back and get folded? Oh, uh, yeah. Where are you at the minute? Just leaving uh, where I've just been delivered to, Godalingling or something. Twenty. How long were you in Godalming? Ages? Yeah, ages. Yeah, he was in there for... I had, I had to have half an hour break on the way down as well. Uh, well head back, he gives you a shout when you're practically here and we'll see. Oh, right. It's usually... Um, it's usually getting on for five ish, but um, yeah, current ETA is 20 yeah. to five. But I'll give you a call later. It should, it should be okay, but um, it gives you a shout when you're almost here. All right, we'll, we'll all see right. where we are. All right, bud, we'll do. Okay, bye. All right, cheers. All right, bye. So, hopefully, I can get preloaded because if I can, it saves a lot of time and I can finish early tomorrow. So, yeah, ideally, I want to go get back and get preloaded. Ideally. I'm going to slow down a little bit here because it's a bit tight. This is that bridge I was talking about. Uh, it's all clear, or it was all clear. They should realise you're a big vehicle when they get closer. 
Uh, on the way in, I had a, uh, a lorry though. Uh, no, not a lorry, it was a horse box. Oh my God. If you know anyone who drives a horse box, I'm not saying I'm the best driver out there, but I think horse box drivers, majority of them drive a bit silly. It's either too slow or too fast. But never mind. Anyway, let's go back to Southampton and hopefully we get preloaded. Right, just got loaded. Just gonna build the air up in the system because my seat's down. Yeah, just got loaded. Um, the time is half past five. And um, that's it, we're done for the night now. Just need to park up around the corner. I don't entirely know exactly where I'm going. There's a PO postcode which is going to be somewhere around Portsmouth and I know there's nowhere to stop on the motorway without having to pay. So I just as well park under the bridge. Here's what I'm going to do. So it's literally just around the corner. And then I found out tomorrow, I think I've got a Cosham, which is again towards Portsmouth area. And then a Devizes. But that's all subject to change. Like I said, it always changes. It was, a, it was supposed to be a Bayesian Stoke earlier and it's already changed. So we shall see. All I know is I'm going to park up. Park up, plan the route ready for the morning, take the card out, grab some chips from the chip shop because I'm starving, watch something on the, uh, the old tablet and then go to bed. That's the plan. Ugh. Someone mentioned in the comment section that I should do some sort of cab cooking thing. Um, like, like you said, Luke Vernon already does it, and I know like uh, CJC's dabbled in it as well. It's not my sort of thing, really. I don't really like cooking, to be honest with you. I know it's more healthy, but like, why have abs when you can have kebabs? Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I'm not the healthiest of people. I should really be more healthier, but. I'm not, I'd rather, I'd rather just go, go buy some food than actually make it. It's just the way I am. Right. Where are we parking? There's kids in there. Right, it looks like we're parking here then, because they've toned it all off. That's fine, I was going to park here anyway. Oh, look at all that dust. Don't want to park too far or too close to that lorry in case I can't get out. Right, that's it, all done. A lot of dust just kicked up then though. Um, yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And uh, until next time, drive safe. Bye-bye.